happens is um, if the ball, if you just happen to time it right, then it'll, you can swing at the ball, which is actually behind you, and you'll end up knocking, knocking yourself out, uh, knocking the wicket over. Right. Um. Line. Well, I'd have said it was outside my, well, on leg, off, about off stump, and I managed to hoik it through mid wicket, which was a it textbook. A bit middle of the leg. Right. What do you think that one was? I'd have said that went there and was fairly straight. Very straight. I'd have said that was down sort of leg. Middle of leg. Yeah. That one? I didn't really pick that one, I must admit. Outside leg. Right. If are you conscious of that? Because you you're you're closing. Your front leg is, is closing you down. Like yeah, I'm doing that, aren't I? Yeah. Which isn't very technically right. strong. So let's see if I can hit any offside shots. Shall we try, um... Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Silly point. Um, let's get your feet, okay? Get yeah. them in orthodox position, quite, quite nice and parallel. Please bend. And let's get that, because you're playing straight, we'll get those elbows loose, yeah? And see whether you can come through like parallelogram there. Let's see whether we can just play through that line. Yeah? Yep. In response to the, the sound. Okay? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I think that's that's one of the things is getting yourself lined up. Lined up. I mean it's like like any batting. Your setup is going to be absolutely vital to your chances of being able to hit the ball consistently. Okay, Faraz? <laughs> I played way too early. Bit early, bit early. Yeah. Yeah. But that, don't worry. I mean, that, that's that's quite typical. To be getting your foot in the in too, in too early. Let's wait, 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 and then play. I'm just too aggressive. Okay. Let's let's try. Ah. Ready? Wait, wait, wait. Too early. Too early. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. I would, I would say, with the speed that it's, it's going to come in fairly consistent speed, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's worth saying, wait, wait. Am Probably I missing three, more than three, I'm Try three waits from when you first hear it. It's the timing. I mean, it's, it's no different to, to any other sort of batting. It's about timing, isn't it? Yep. Ready? Wait, wait. Good shot. Don't snatch at it. 
get that feeling of rhythm. national game um, it's much clearer that you've hit the ball in yeah, the domestic yeah. than <laughs> it is with the international one it's yeah. almost more I would say the sense of they tell you the time or, or the number on the clock to work out the international game yeah. and I think if you had that sort of donk that makes a wooden plastic noise and as you hit it and then it scatters off in its direction. I think in terms of people's memory keys of what it is like to play the game, it would fit together in a stronger way, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, the other thing we might need to design a pair of gloves, otherwise I think I might not have any skin left on my fingers playing a sweep shot. But, um, Quite wide, well, on the ground. Yeah. Um, but that's only a small issue at this stage. You just have to... <laughs> what about the, the, the controller itself? And because we, we thought about how we could embed it in the bat. And yeah, I mean, obviously, you're not getting that feedback of knowing uh, the, the feedback from the bat that's going to go on the ground, let's say, if he's got the controller, which is much lighter, too. You know, so yeah, I mean, I think the nearer it can be to a bat, almost the better. Funnily enough, again, the domestic game, in a way, lends itself. Back there. It's um, at one, two o'clock. Oh. Better to it, but it's, it, it sort of depends. And again, I don't know the science, I suppose, but if you imagine, I, if I'm batting and I'm a right-handed batsman, I'd hold a cricket bat, or I should do, tightly in my left hand and less tightly in my right hand. And so by having this, yeah. I can hold just the bat handle, and some batsmen will practice playing with just one hand on the bat, because it, it ensures you keep the ball down. Um, and so by doing that, it sort of works. Oh, With the stop, international stop, game, I'd stop. say it's slightly more important to maybe have... Um, see, it just I didn't... Like, it really vibrated then, and I felt it more then than when I've been playing the game. So maybe that tells me that I'm concentrating on something else rather than feeling the vibrations in the international game. I don't know. Um, but it vibrates a lot. Actually, when you get out, it's very noticeable. Yeah. More so than... Right. When you hit your own stumps, it really vibrates. Okay. The challenge in it, I suppose, is that if I'm holding this um, and I play a shot, if it's sensing this hitting the ball, then it's sort of realistic, but you don't want to be hitting the ball with your hand. Do you know what yeah. I mean? The sort of back's down here. Yeah. 